Hey guys, nice to see you. Well, today's video is about hitting some milestones and about an upcoming questions and answers video that I want to do. And originally I was going to talk about hitting the milestone of my 50th upload to YouTube, but something else super spectacular and amazing happened and it kind of stole that thunder. I have hit 1,000 subscribers. So Mario was the guy who actually made the digits roll from 999 to 1000. So yeah, Mario, thanks buddy. I, I am absolutely blown away hitting that thousand subscriber goal after only seven short months of uploading to YouTube. And I mean, that, that's all you guys. I, I thank you so much for all your views, your comments, your encouragement, your participation. It's just been a great community and I am very grateful and I'm absolutely humbled. So seriously guys, thank you. The initial goal of this channel was to upload one video per week for one year and kind of see what happens. And this is video number 53. So I've already exceeded that initial goal and I did it five months early. And you know, some, some weeks were actually pretty easy and some weeks have been an absolute struggle. But along that path to those first 50 videos, there were three videos that kind of stood out to me and they sort of moved the needle, so to speak. They, they helped me grow my skills or they really helped to grow this channel. The first such video was my eighth entitled Why We Bike to the Dog Park. And it was the first video, my first upload that really felt like I created something real, the first complete story from end to end. And at the time, it felt way above my skill level, you know, really ambitious, and I, I kind of didn't know what I was doing, but I thought I had a good story, a good idea, and I just started shooting, and yeah, it, it turned out pretty decent. And it was the first video to actually rack up, you know, decent number of views, so I mean, that, that was pretty good. But looking back at it now, I mean, you, you kind of cringe, and there's a lot of things you'd change, but you know what, that's just part of the process. The next one that stood out to me is number 23, Bye Bye Sparky. It's the story of me losing my DJI Spark on, on a flyaway. And I shot that video the day after my wedding. So yeah, you guessed it, I lost my Spark on my wedding day. And at the time, you know, I, I, I didn't even really want to shoot it. I was kind of not in a great mood. I was really tired, but I thought, you know, I'll shoot it anyhow. And I made a video out of it. and. I'm really glad that I did. And I look back on it now and I, I, I like it actually. I, I think it's just a, a really raw story about loss. And you know, it's, it's not contrived, it's not scripted. This is just real raw human emotion about loss. And, and I, I think everyone can relate to that. And as it turns out, it is my most watched video on my channel. The final standout for me is number 48, Jen's first flight with the DJI Spark. And that particular video was the toughest edit I have ever done, like by far, the huge tough edit. And I shot that video with five different cameras, my Canon 80D, my Canon G7X Mark II, uh, two GoPros, my iPhone, and my DJI Spark. And I took, you know, it was actually a relatively easy shoot. I think it took about two and a half hours. And I took all that footage home and I started pouring through it and I, and I, I didn't like it. I didn't think I had what I needed to make a story. And I was quite prepared just to throw it out and go with plan B, but I decided to give it, you know, just, just another kick around the editor there and it started to come together. And I, I think it was 16 plus hours later of editing and I, I made a video that I was actually really happy with. And um, it, it was really tough, but my, my editing skills, uh, they, they grew three sizes that day. I try to make each video better than the last and sometimes I succeed at that and sometimes I don't. But I take the good with the bad because it's all part of the process of improvement. And really that's the underlying theme of this channel, get better at making videos. 
And one final thing guys, to mark these milestones, I am planning to do a questions and answers video. So what I would like you guys to do is ask some questions. So hopefully me talking about some older videos has seeded some ideas for questions. So please put them in the comments below and I'll, and I'll take as many of those questions as I can and answer them in a future video. Hopefully you guys ask lots of questions because if there's no questions that video will be really short and really sad. So yeah, ask some questions. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Put those questions in the comments below and uh, we will see you in the next one. Whew.